one of the things that you have just rising within the national consciousness is critical race theory. And in the case of, of Judge Brown, like she has referenced, you know, critical race theory style literature of the past as, as being influential on in her worldview. Um, I'm not going to try to argue that, you know, there's a very clear and obvious bias within her, her record as a judge. I, I, I haven't spent that much time going through it, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but, but even that's an aspect that it, it has come up in, uh, in questions. I think that is something that will be obvious to see in terms of future, uh, uh, decisions. Um, you know, I, I think that's something that you, and, and if you continue to see, uh, critical race theory and this kind of larger awareness that the there is a, a very distinct ideology grounding the legal system that we have long thought uh, you have been told is non ideological but now here very much is a very firm ideological perspective baked into the decision making um, and will probably be referenced explicitly with the way that certain things are worded. Um, you know, dealing with systemic racial oppression and yada, 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 um, that that's something where it would be interesting to see if having this all play out, does this become sort of a re recurring critique of Brown's decisions going forward if the right stays interested on that issue? And, and that, that, that this is all up to subjection. You know, if you look at history, I, I think you're always safe betting on people will, will forget and move on. Um, but I don't think this is always the case. Um, and so that will be just another aspect. Well, it'd be interesting to see, you know, how does is this this decision, this appointment age going forward, particularly when you consider just what I, I think is going to be a very weak political legacy of Biden himself. If there's something about her that, again, particularly when you had that sort of initial pushback, right, of Biden's going for a token diversity pick that's going to check the right boxes, if that plays into perceptions of critical race theory playing a role in her decision making – it would be interesting to see if this continues this sort of other, otherwise gradual reduction in the faith and trust that Americans have within the Supreme Court as an institution itself, um, which is something else that, that we, we would probably see in spite of disagreeing perhaps with those decisions, that erosion of, uh, of, of above it all sort of integrity, that's something that we might see as, as an as a, as a upside as part of this general sort of de, uh, delegitimizing of this federal regime broadly.